Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to save a PowerPoint 2010 presentation as a web page. So first off, why do we need a video to the, do this? Well, as it happens, in PowerPoint 2010, Microsoft have removed the old Save as a Web Page option that many people will be familiar with. If you want your presentation to be saved as a web page so that you could view it on a browser, uh, you used to be able to choose the Save as a Web Page option. That's no longer available to us. So what we need to be able to do is we need to have a workaround. Now this workaround involves Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications, VBA for short. Now the good news is you don't actually have to know anything about this, but in order to use this workaround, we are going to open up Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications. So let's see what that looks like. The steps to uh, use VBA or Visual Basic for Applications is first of all, create, edit and save your presentation in PowerPoint as a PPTX or in any version that you choose as you have done beforehand. And when you are ready to publish or to create the web page of your PowerPoint presentation, you need to press the Alt key and the plus 11, F11 key together, and then press the Control plus G key after that. So this sequence here is very, very important. And what happens when you've done this is that VBA displays what's called an immediate window. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Here's an example here. PowerPoint will display this extra window uh, when you follow the key sequence in the previous slide. You can see across the top of the window it is Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications and the name of your PowerPoint presentation. In my case here, I'm using the My How to Save a PowerPoint 2000 presentation as a web page presentation that I'm creating for this video. I'm pointed out in red, big red arrow at the bottom of the screen here, is the immediate window I talked about on the previous slide. So you need to get this uh, using the key sequence that I've given displayed. And in this window here at the bottom, we need to type in some code. Now the code's a little bit complicated, but let's take a look at it and try and make it easy. In the immediate window, you need to type in the lines of line of code that you see here. This is I've expanded this to make it very, very big, so it's very, very readable on YouTube. But all of this from active presentation down to MSO false on the top part here needs to be on one line. And the bit that we need to change is in the middle here. So we need to tell PowerPoint what drive, what folder name, and what file name we want to save our PowerPoint presentation as a web page in. So for example, in my case here, and I've highlighted in red in the bottom part of the screen that you see here, um, the file I want to be saved on drive C. The folder name is a folder which I've created called My Pages. And for the purposes of this presentation, I'm just going to call my web page test.hcm. So I need to type in this bottom line of three lines of code here as one line, remember, in the immediate window. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. So in the immediate window, pointed out here again by the red arrow, I have typed out as one line um, the information that you need to be in the immediate window. Now I will put this text so that you can copy and paste it in the comment section of the YouTube video. So type it in as this. Don't change anything other than the bit in the middle telling PowerPoint, what drive, what folder are folders, and what the file name should be. Leave the rest as it is, make sure the spaces, inverted commas, full stops, and so on are left as they you see them here. And when you've typed that in, simply press enter. And when that happens, PowerPoint will create a web page for you. And it will put it on the location, you can see here the and the address bar, it's drive C and the folder name is my pages. And it creates a test.htm file to launch the web page. And in the folder test underscore files, it, that will contain all the files that you will need for your web page. Now if in older versions of PowerPoint, if you have or ever used the save as a web page option, uh, you will be familiar with this type of structure here. When you open up the test files folder, this includes all of the HTM files, all of your slides, all of the XML and style sheets and so on. PowerPoint creates all of this for you. As I say, if you've used Save as a web page before, you will be familiar with these types of files. And then when I run my web page by launching the test.htm file on the previous slide, um, I see my web page being displayed in my browser, in my case here, Google Chrome, and it displays the numbered slides on the left-hand side and my slide presentations in the browser window. 
So that's how you create, save a PowerPoint 2010 presentation as a web page. Remember, this option has been removed uh, by Microsoft from PowerPoint 2010. But using the workaround with VBA and the code exactly as I have given it, you should be able to save your file as a web page. That's it for on this video. I hope you found it very useful. Thank you for your attention.